Second and eight, Snapinick at the 22. And Shops pass caught. Donald Strickland comes into the secondary for New York. Shop hit when he throws it, looking for Johnson, and it could have been picked, but Rebus unable to run it down. Thanks. Jets over 400 yards total offense. Houston around a buck 50. There's a completion, a tough one it was. In traffic, caught by Johnson. Well, don't overjudge one week. David Anderson. He almost caught it, then almost hit it up in the air long enough for Rebus to make a play on it. Well, identifying the mic in terms of protection. Brady, near side, Moss, and Rebus is right there. Watching Randy Moss during the course of his career, this guy was nothing more than a sideline route runner. This is Rebus down here on 81, Randy Moss. Brady going to go deep for Moss. Rebus is there and picked it off. And is brought down by Moss back at the 16-yard line. Darrell Rebus, first thing he told us the other day was he was going to be out there on Rebus Island against Randy Moss, and he came through. Well, I thought that halfway through that pattern that Randy Moss started to feather it back. And Tom Brady launched it thinking that Randy Moss was flying, and he wasn't. You saw the pump. Tom knew he had to get rid of it. But about 20 yards down the field, I thought Randy Moss choked it back a gear. And then he tried to speed up to catch up to the ball. Brady out threw him right to Rivas. What a play by this talented young corner. Here they come. Brady throwing, crossing pattern, juggled and caught for a first down by Randy Moss to the 22. Brady, sideline for Moss incomplete. Darrell Rebus right there with him. And you can see that Tom Brady tried to go to the back shoulder of Randy Moss towards the sideline. Pretty decent coverage that time by Darrell Rebus. New England with just 43 total yards in the second half. Brady complete to Moss. And Moss. Brady on the move being chased. Throws incomplete intended for Moss on the near sideline, and Rebus was right there. Randy Moss again, not getting any separation at all from Drell Rebus. This is only the fourth offensive play run by the Titans. Pass out here is complete to Justin Gage, and that's wrapped up at about the 23-yard line. Well, it'll be an overload if they decide to come, and there it is to the left. Collin just got rid of it, and incomplete. As he's working against Justin Gage, watch how he's going to come around with the right arm, get it in there, and make contact with the football, timing everything perfectly. Third and eight. College. Over the middle, crossing pattern complete. Inside the 20, inside the 15-yard line is Nate Washington for a first down. The all-time list for passing yardage. And they've just gotten there with the strike to the 36-yard line to the rookie Kenny Britt. Again, it's it's Darrell Rebus this time working against Britt. He's right with him, and he is only a fingernail away from getting a hand on that ball. Collins with time. Throws this no, side, and it's out of bounds. Intended for Britt. Collins, incomplete. Seems like wherever Kerry Collins goes with the football, Darrell Rivas is there. Whether it's on Britt, Gage, or this time Washington. Here they come. Collins throwing near side, that's complete and out of bounds to Justin Gage, stopping the clock. No huge rush by the Jets this time. Collins up the middle and got his man at the 40. Almost to the 30-yard line is the rookie Kenny Britt. Take a look at him. He's starting to the outside. Rivas is with him. Rivas, and then there's David Harris underneath. And, and Harris has that hook zone underneath. And Kerry Collins threads it right past Harris. Effectively ends their chances of, of being a really good team. Kerry Collins got rid of it in and out of the hands of Justin Gage. No one deep for the Jets. <laughs> I think not. Here they come. Collins throwing it up. Incomplete. New Orleans at their own 
center. Breeze to throw. All kinds of time, and he's going to go deep. Incomplete at the five-yard line. Breeze. Under pressure, got rid of it, and over the middle, incomplete. Knocked down by Darrell Rivas. That pass intended for Colston. Breeze on first down. Pump fake. Throw it. Oh. Incomplete, almost. A pretty good catch on the near side by Marcus Colson. Now Breeze has Reggie Bush in the backfield on third and eight. Breeze over the middle. Knocked down, incomplete. And he just saw that coming the whole way. He just timed it at the last minute to just take that left arm. It is a mutual love affair they've got going. Breeze, going to throw. Has time. Throws far sideline. Oh! Almost picked off. Darrell Rivas was there. Well, Marcus Colston is number 12. Great jam by Darrell Rivas. But look at him. I, I'm really shocked that Drew Brees made that throw. Former first round pick into the game on defense. Third and three. Henny throws complete. Right at the line for the first down with Ted Ginn. From the 16, here's Henry. Complete gain of about nine. Quick to Camarillo. Good play by Darrell Rivas, the terrific cornerback. And what a tackle by Darrell Rivas getting off the block of Lusaka Polite and making the play. Well, that's a great job by Darrell <laughs> Rivas. I mean, here comes a fullback. You get off the block, you spin back to the inside. That's a football player. He plays like a linebacker when he has to. Four games. Play action. Penny loading up. Shot downfield for Teddy Ginn. Got it. Touchdown, Miami. Michigan to Ohio State for six. That's great there for play. Ted there Ginn. The foul. There's Darrell Revis. He said he had Ted Ginn all night tonight. What a great job by Ted Ginn getting off the jam and finding that track speed that he has. Shotgun. Screen it to the tight end. And it's, uh, no, it's Terrell Owens. Here comes the blitz. The throw over the middle to Owens, incomplete. And Owens slow to get off the field. Thought he might have been hit around the helmet, but... Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Buffalo has only one timeout. Throw complete to Owens. And T.O. out of bounds at the 21. Dorel Rivas. Boy, they're going to know each other's phone number before this uh, game is over. They're face mask to face mask. Ryan Fitzpatrick at quarterback. He's in the shotgun. Throws down the middle. It's going to be almost intercepted by Dorel Rivas. Here comes the blitz. Fitzpatrick down the sidelines for Owens. Incomplete. Great coverage by Revis. He was all over the back of Darrell Revis. That's pass interference right there by Terrell Owens. And then they come the other way, and it's a screen to Owens, and he's hitting the backfield and smothered back inside the 20-yard line. Now, earlier in the game, Owens was uh, covered a lot by Revis, and Revis got a couple of penalties on him. But since that time, Revis has just dominated this matchup. Watch the play as he fights off the block of Josh Reed and slows down Owens enough. Third down, Fitzpatrick. The quick throw is incomplete to Ter Terrell Owens. Knocked away by Darrell Revis. Well, on the undercard today, it's been Terrell Owens and Darrell Revis. This was in the first quarter. A holding call on Revis and then illegal contact there. But since that point, uh, Revis has bounced back and been a real pain in the back to T.O. This time, Russell will go from the shotgun. <laughs> A quick slant, a little bit behind Lewis Murphy. And they've had to slide everybody around. Play fake. Russell going to throw for the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone by Darrell Revis. Single coverage on the receiver. That's the good news. The bad news is it's Darrell Revis, and he throws the ball deep where Revis becomes the receiver and makes a spectacular catch. 
pass to the far side. That's Darius Hayward Bay, and he's wrestled down short of midfield by Darrell Rivas. And going to throw on his first play. Going to go deep. Has a man open. And that is pulled in. No, incomplete. Well, Gradkowski sees. Oh, and he really got Rivas on that stutter step. Rivas almost went to the ground. And very fortunate for Darrell Rivas, the ball was a little underthrown. Gradkowski on the slant. And he's got the rookie wide receiver, Lewis Murphy, for first down. Out to about the 28-yard line. Raiders short of 200 yards on the afternoon. Gradkowski over the middle, incomplete. Who, uh, I don't think many people had Sean Green on their fantasy roster. On today. second and ten, that pass almost picked by Darrell Rivas at the goal line. Well, right to Rivas because Rivas makes a tremendous adjustment on the ball. Ted Ginn has come in. He's at the bottom of your screen. Third down and eight. Penny's looking for him, and it's over his head. Because when you go to this left side, Rivas, look at this. He gauges the break of Ted Ginn. The women's marathon, and here we go with the Dolphins. With Henny. Down the middle and over the head. Fasano had a play on it. Rivas was in the area defending. Good job by Justin Smiley. And Henny. Oh, that was dangerous. Rivas dove for it, looking for Hanos. Last line of defense. Henny, it's a wobbler looking for Camarillo, and the half is over. Second and 17. Henny, and a good toss to Camarillo in midseason. On second down, Gerard. Good protection. Now he throws it away. First down at the 45. Gerard down the middle. That might have been deflected as he was under pressure from Calvin Pace, the linebacker. Mets have not allowed a fourth down conversion this year. 0 for 8. Quick throw. And breaking free is Mike Thomas. And Thomas has a first down at the 26-yard line. Going to blitz on the play. And he is. Gerard throws underneath incomplete. Intended for Sims Walker. Gerard underneath to Sims Walker to the 25. Gang tackled second and nine. Long, long Gerard. Incomplete. Sims Walker, the intended receiver, and Darrell Rivas was right there for the Jets. Closely. Rivas and Randy Moss today. Third and three. And up top, Brady goes, and that was in the hands of Moss and Rivas. Jawing with him a little bit, knocks it out. It's one on one coverage to the outside. Tom Brady makes a good throw, trying to throw it behind the receiver. But Darrell Rivas, what reactions? Turns, finds the football, and knocks it down. Uh, look at that oversized glove on that right hand, which was operated on this week. Got a flea flicker coming up. Brady trying to get Moss the ball, and it's over his head. And Rivas was right there with him, stride for stride, trying to quiet Darrell Rivas. Rather quickly. On the sideline, and that's Rivas knocking it away. They want to try to take advantage of this down the football field. Another, this is a terrific throw by Tom Brady, but Rivas. There's the touchdown, and it's Moss with Rivas standing by. Second down and six. Back to Moss. Rolling out, looking for Moss. So Randy Moss can't get down there to get the first down. Watch it. Because he stays right in there and fights him, it makes him break the route off before the first down marker. Don't overplay because the Patriots will send somebody to try to score. A fake now to fire. Break off the ground, was it complete? Yes. After reviewing the play, the ball was on the ground, not in possession, it's an incomplete pass. Edelman with his second catch. By the way, Sebastian Vollmer back in at left tackle. Brady slides over, gets it away in time. Moss was covered by Rebus. The 2.42 to go in the third. From the goal line to throw, Moss. 
This time Randy Moss is it's just a well it Darrell Revis seizing go and takes off with him look like zone defense. So Tom Brady sees the open space in the middle of the field. They take to Maroney. And they look for standback. That was Revis knocking it away. As a quarterback, you got to give up on quite a few of them. They don't take chances. Brady going for Moss. Now look how he shielded. They throw the flag on Revis. Pass interference offense. Yep. Number 81. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. Working out the way they hope. The defense is playing well. Down the field they go. How about that? Looking for Moss. Looking for Moss and Revis and Carnage in motion. Play fake to Stewart. DeLone rolls. What a catch made on the far sideline by Steve Smith. And the guy here, uh, Steve Smith on the outside, runs basically a deep comeback. He is the last option for Jake DeLone. Wow. What just a one-handed grab. Slant intended for Steve Smith. Intercepted. It looked like it hit a receiver in the back. Darrell Revis will go the distance for a touchdown. You're going to see Steve Smith come out of it right here. Obviously, Jake DeLome thought that Steve was going to turn and look at him very quickly. What are the odds it bounces up off his foot and into the hands of Darrell Revis? Tom, what I think we're seeing here is clearly the Jets are lining up Darrell, Re Darrell Revis on Steve Smith every snap. Lucien Mohammed in motion. Play fake to Stewart. And looking for Steve Smith. And there again is Darrell Revis. His second interception on the afternoon. Covering Andre Johnson. Well, you're talking about Marcus Colston a couple of times against Randy Moss. He just gets it done. I want you to watch how quickly he transitioned, turns his hips, and plays the ball. And still can keep pace with Steve, Met, uh, Steve Smith. That DeLone to the end zone. Smith caught it, both feet in, touchdown Steve Smith. Well, we're going to see the challenge. After the play, it is an incomplete pass. The receiver did not gain possession of the football until he landed out of bounds. Third down. A lot of work to do, but still hope. DeLone throws it away. Jake DeLome and again Revis having a huge day and this is where you don't want to be against this Jet team. You can see the matchup here a good on good. These are two as good as it gets in the National Football League. And just sit and play zone too long. Here comes that blitz and DeLome throws it into the air and an eye on Steve Smith. I believe because the coverage from Revis has been good. On a second and eight. Fitzpatrick looking for T.O. and he can't make the catch with Revis right there. Physical player. Watch his screen. Owens with the catch. Has a first down just across the 45-yard line. Look at what he's done against some of the best receivers starting in week one in Houston against Andre Johnson. Well, and Andre Johnson and all, you know, there are some great names up here, but Andre Johnson is one of those physical guys as well as can run. Randy Moss, to me, just tilts the field better than anybody. That's a well-coached offensive line. And Patrick nearly intercepted by Revis, intended for Owens. You know, you see that break on that ball right there? with Revis. Watch the route. He's going to back off, just sit right there in the zone. But you see how his eyes were back inside. He's at the top of his game right now. What well, we said on the front side that we look forward to a spirited little little matchup, and that's what it's been. They've been getting after each other. Watch T.O. at the end of that. Give a little head to knee to the head. Revis comes back and says, take that. Then Owens whoops at him. Way to the sideline. Second and eight for Fitzpatrick. Can't find Owens right near the first down marker. Revis on the coverage. Lynch and Jackson in the backfield on a third and eight. Pressure off the side. Blitz is on, middle of the field, dropped by Owens. Indy and Jacksonville put on a show on Thursday night football. Fitzpatrick. A lot of time. With time, looking for Owens. Well covered, and Revis nearly had the interception. Revis is running stride for stride. He's got the speed to be able to do it. Ball's in the air. He just stopped. Can't do that. 
He's got to go up and try to become a defender. Especially third and long. Fitzpatrick threw it late. Revis nearly had the pick intended for Josh Reed. Well, he was just sitting back there and letting, just looking at everything. He just breaks perfectly. Watch him sit back on it. He's turning it back over to the safety. Somebody goes away, somebody's coming back. They have 10 yards total on those four possessions. Fitzpatrick, Owens got the feet down, first down. Second catch for T.O. With good mechanics. And this time you're going to run him off and just, and he's playing in the zone. 8-10 to go, second and 10. Owens on the slant. Has the first down to the 25. Second and 21. Fitzpatrick trying to find Owens. Intercepted by Darrell Revis. His fifth of the season. With an exclamation point with the pick. You know, watch him just staying high on top of it. And really, the ball is a little underthrown. But Revis comes down with it. This is what we talked about. Rex Ryan on third down. What are they going to do for Freeman? Freeman throwing to the sideline and incomplete. Presley at fullback. Take the handoff. Freeman. Bootleg. Long toss. Knocked up in the air and incomplete. Particularly against the pass. On a second and 12. Freeman over the middle. And short of the 25. Antonio Bryan. And Absolutely. Dime package for the Jets. And Freeman incomplete. Thought they might have their first first down of the day. Antonio Bryan on a first down on a fourth and one. He set it down for Tampa Bay. Shotgun formation. Freeman throwing. Sideline. Incomplete. So this is designed to be a back shoulder throw to Brian Clark, and they do a nice job. But watch the adjustment here. Right there at the end, he gets that left hand in there. On a third and eight now for Freeman and the Bucks offense. Rush is coming. Freeman gets rid of it. And the coverage there against Brian Clark. And down to 9.26 to go in his fourth quarter. From the gun, Freeman. Intercepted, it's Darrell Revis. Revis into Tampa Bay territory, down the sideline. Revis stumbling, he's in. Or is he? Out of bounds. And don't even bother throwing in his direction. You can see right here, Brian Clark, this is a matchup. Look at this, he just jumps all over it. Of course, he misses him on the back shoulder. Revis is right there, and of course, after the play, look at all these jet defenders get downfield and get some blocks for him. <laughs> I don't know, you got some press coverage on the outside. Why not go after one of those guys? Pressure, and nearly a pick. Revitz almost had his second. And expect to be in games, particularly against a defense like this. Freeman slings it. That catch is made out across the 45-yard line. Has been playing tremendous football. Second down and three, and going deep for Roddy White. And covered by Revis, and the flag goes down. And it's the right call. Watch how Darrell Revis has Roddy White pinned to the sideline. See how he's got him with his body? As the setback, and it's going to be a pass by Ryan and a fade, but the receiver had fallen down. Here comes the pressure on Ryan, and the pass tipped away by Revis, intended for Roddy White. At least until Dallas upset New Orleans right. last night. From the 14. And it was Rebus who got a hand on it, and then it was David Harris who had a chance at it. Rebus is all over the place. Or responsibility. They give you a little bit more. Sometimes you don't take advantage of it the right way. Lee Flicker, and here is Ryan's pass, and Roddy White, and Darrell Rebus was back there again. No one fooled him on that play. How frustrating is it for the Atlanta Falcons? They're trying their best to get Roddy White the football. Darrell Rebus. If he was fooled, it was for a nanosecond. And then how about the closing speed as he goes and breaks up the play and then over the top, Jim Leonard, number 36, also on the scene, making sure that pass isn't completed. And Charles, it's amazing. Revis wasn't even looking for the ball. Aaron Stecker along with Jason Snelling line up in the backfield and this pass caught by Roddy White. Fake to Snelling. Matt Ryan had nothing. Matt Ryan, who does he want to go to? His number one receiver, Roddy White, trying a double move, a stop and go, and Darrell Rivas having none of it. 
Ryan fires, nearly intercepted by Rivas. Hurry, hurry! Play fair. Manny waits, draws this side for Reggie Lane, incomplete. Straight Ball's drive gone, get him. into the end zone, incomplete off the hands of Reggie Wayne. Donald Brown in the backfield. Play fake to him. Manning throws. And Reggie Wayne is open and incomplete. Manning looking left, Ball's throwing rolling. left as Wayne at midfield. Manning throwing far side. That's Reggie Wayne. First down yardage, out of bounds, inside the Jet 45. Right on top left. Lots of conversation on the field prior to the snap. Man up going. the sideline. Incomplete. Watch this. You can't do it. You get the little jam, and then there you're just talk about shoulder to shoulder and right. And where's Peyton Manning going to throw the football? Field, I doubt, figured into it. From the 26-yard line, that pass is complete to Austin Collins. Most of the other cast members have changed. Painter throws. Nice play defensively on this side of the field by Darrell Rivas. As training camp began, third down and nine. Palmer steps up to avoid the heat and then throws into the wing for Ocho Cinco, and it is incomplete. He's covered by Darrell Rivas, and the two have been texting back and forth and creating a lot of good natured ribbing back and forth. And Rivas is about as good as it gets when it comes to being a cover corner in the National Football League these days. One of the subplots coming into the game, Chad Oshosinko, Darrell Rivas, the matchup, wide out and cover corner. And Oshosinko told Bob Costas yesterday as you look at what took place before the game, usual respect with these guys, a lot of kidding around. Said to Bob yesterday, if if Reeves shuts me down, I'm changing my name back to Johnson. <laughs> we better get the paperwork ready. <laughs> Third and 13. One on one, he's got him. He wants him, and he's pressing him too. And Palmer's going to throw in that direction, and the pass is incomplete. And Ocho Cinco gets whacked by Kerry Rhodes. We start from the 15-yard line. Palmer throws and that's incomplete intended for Ocho Cinco. He's had some big days but he has been number three. Second and one. And for Ocho Cinco and he gets blanketed by Rivas. And you watch Rivas play and you see that this guy allows almost no separation. Well and what makes him a defensive MVP candidate in my mind is the fact that he has been doing this all season long. He has taken the premier wide receivers in the NFL and done this to all of them. There has not been a big day against him in Philadelphia and Arizona. And Sullivan. And that is caught wow. by Coles. It's twice. Sets up the Bengals at the 26 with a first down. Palmer's pass again high. That's three high passes. I know, and then you start running. Here's Palmer. This one is right on target to Coles. From the shotgun, Jets coming with a blitz. Bengals pick it up, but the pass is picked off by Rivas. Rivas with his seventh interception, six in the regular season, now one here. And Rivas trying to pick up blockers, finally ridden down short of the 45 yard line of New York. Breaks inside on the pass and picks off the Carson Palmer aerial. This is a mismatch. It's, the ball is thrown behind. It was supposed to be a back shoulder throw. That's what Carson Palmer was expecting from Chad. Leading 21 7, fourth quarter, just under 12 minutes. Carson Palmer stepping up as a completion to Ocho Cinco, his first in the last two games. Again, the Jets showing the blitz and coming with it. Palmer throwing deep, but a miscommunication again with Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco! Incomplete. He was out of bounds with Rivas using that boundary to aid his coverage. Well, you dial this up. Chad really doesn't do anything to freeze Terrell at the line. He just tries to run by him. Bengals need a quick strike. Palmer across the middle. Complete. 
Ocho Cinco with the catch. Playoff style. We'll see if it works today. Second and 11. They fake the end around, and he whips it sidearm to Tomlinson. And Revis read that one out. Rankin Rivers on his left side. And that was intended for Legadu Nane, and it was Revis who made the play, preventing the first down catch. At the 12, they have one timeout. And a two-minute warning to play with. Way down the field, and Revis had the best play on that, as it turns out. Running stride for stride with Vincent Jackson. This guy fast and big. Good release by Vincent Jackson. But here's what you like. Who's the first one to spot the football in the air? 24, Revis. He sees it before Jackson does. He has a better chance to react and go get it. And, man, they're good. Third down, third and eight. Mark Scott was coming after him, and the pass incomplete as Revis denied it and takes off running with it. Well, they're calling it a catch and a fumble. Well, the hype about Darrell Revis, it's definitely not overhyped, that's for sure. Breaks up the pass. It hits Vincent Jackson's, the back of his shoe. Only the second time they've had third and less than five yards. Rivers finds Gates, and they've got the first. Great times. Pass too high. <laughs> you never know where Darrell Revis is going to line up. There's nowhere for Peyton Manning to throw that football. Able to get a first down at the 30. Coming in on Manning, gets it away to Wayne. And that was with Revis covering, and he breaks free to the 45. Fakes to a die. Plants the feet and throws in the area of Wayne who wanted a flag. Tripping on the outside, bottom of your screen. Revis against Reggie Wayne. Oh, it's just, that is unbelievable <laughs> coverage. Holly has a first down at the 48. Boy, well designed. 12.25 remaining in the game, and it's Manning wide open to Reggie Wayne. And Wayne fumbles the football and falls on it right away. David Harris. Well, it's the underneath route that we talked about. It doesn't work sometimes when you got tight coverage, but Reggie Wayne swatted Revis off of him, created space. And the Jets, they're looking for one big play.